happening now and ahead of the Memorial Day weekend, it's usually the start of the busiest part of the season for Airbnb hosts and short-term rental owners, but with COVID-19 still an issue, it's forcing some owners to get very creative in order to stay afloat. News Five's Katie Blaze has the story. With big changes to graduation ceremonies and people not really traveling right now, things are looking a lot different for short-term rentals. I think I, I, I was adequately scared in in February. That's how Airbnb host Elliot Orsillo felt when news of the coronavirus first started to spread. We kind of saw the writing on the wall. And he says a big wave of cancellations came through. We're running at probably, uh, I'd say, two-thirds, both on a booking rate and on an occupancy rate. For short-term rental owner Ryan Spradlin. I would guess somewhere in the range of ten dollars to $15,000 worth of cancellations. But he says since those initial cancellations, things have started to pick up again. Everything got wiped out and then everything slowly came back. Obviously, this is graduation season, so it's not coming back at the rates that we were expecting. May winds up being a month that's usually double and sometimes triple other spring months. While the two men know that that won't happen this year, they're trying to innovate during this tough time. I have had longer term people come in and, and rent the houses and then I've converted some of my houses to medium term rentals and rented to healthcare workers. We've also um, flipped a lot of the units to more of a longer term rental. So whether it's finding someone that's looking for three, six or 12 months uh, fully furnished, so that's helped kind of create some stability there. Another thing that's helping? People are, I, I think they're kind of getting sick of quarantining at home. So neighboring states, we're getting traffic from them. And if you're a host or owner that's struggling right now, Spradlin suggests checking out the Colorado Springs Short-Term Rental Alliance Group on Facebook for advice and support. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Katie Blaze, News 5.